It's the sure sign of a good time. The just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. This is the Players' Lounge on 101sports.com. Welcome back to Hot Shots in St. Charles. Steve Savard with Brady Papinga and Nick Miller, touchdown man from a day ago against the, uh, I forget, Arizona. Come on, Arizona, Arizona Carlos, turn, 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 turn the page. Yeah, turn the we're, page. We're, we're moving on You're to focused 49. on the 49. Right <laughs> You're Heck focused on the 49. Yes. Moving on. No, I mean, yeah, you always do that 24-hour rule, you know, that uh, Don Shula implemented back in the day. It's the Don Shula rule. I think so. I didn't know that. Yeah, Don Shula rule. 24 hours, win or lose, you put it in the bed and you mm -hmm. move on to the next one. You segment these suckers out, you know, because if you start to have like a – if you win a game, obviously, and then you're still just gloating and on high and you're moving to the next game with that win still sort of hanging over, it, it really affects you in the next game. I think guys lose a little edge. And, you know, it takes away from your inconsistency. It's the same if you lose. you got to just compartmentalize it, learn from it, and move forward and, and have the new week be a fresh new start, you know, because you don't want to go into the game, you know – sort of living in the past. You've got to be in the moment. You know, that's, that's what's important. Uh, being in the moment here, Nick, I want to know, did you mm -hmm. see that, that Sue kick? I uh, one of my former teammates, Dietrich Smith, did you see that? I did see that. that was, what that did was, you think? What was your interpretation of that, man? That was a bad move. You know, everybody gets upset on the field, but, I mean, we're all professionals. You know, you've got to act like a professional, especially on Thanksgiving. You know, you have a, a national audience. Everyone's watching. There's kids out there, you know, um, and th especially him. You know, he's a big-time player. One of the first picks, um, you know, people would try to be like him, try to, you know, um, just, you know, to, just try to be like him, I guess. And uh, when you throw a kick like that in front of a national audience, it's just, it's not a good, good look for your image, you know. It's a big bummer, especially after the fact. And everybody, I mean, the, the old saying in football is the eye in the sky mm -hmm. does not lie. lie. And everybody saw it, and we saw it so clearly, and they knew what it was. Nobody was grabbing his leg. He was nobody off balance. Was, can't come back Nobody. That. I mean, he wasn't off balance. He's one of the most athletic human beings <laughs> in America, in the world, let's say. Brady, come on. He was trying to catch his balance. <laughs> I mean, he unbelievable. He used, he used Dietrich Smith's arm <laughs> to balance himself. <laughs> See, you can't come even on. come back from that. You can't come up with an, ex and an excuse. And lo and behold, he you know? goes and he denies it. Oh, I didn't uh, kick the guy. No, I mean. That to me is where the that's where his fault was. You know, he didn't own up to it, and uh, he, he basically was playing everybody for stupid. You know, no, there's and no question about that. And I think people took, you know, I mean, obviously that didn't really turn out well for him because he had. I think a lot of the, the public really didn't mm -hmm. like that because everybody wants people. I mean, people you can't call everybody liars, you know, especially on a on a broad scale. And I mean, when you have former teammates of his coming forward saying, "Hey, you got to get this guy," you know, you got to get him <clears throat> under control or else he's going to really hurt somebody. You know, that really is a sign, I think, of where he's sort of. You know, it's one thing about being on the edge, and I and that's one thing I respect about the guy. I think. When they, you know, they were doing uh, polls, uh, the media, I, I forgot the gentleman who's a great guy, by the way, if you're listening, you're awesome, you know who you are. Uh, he goes and does the polls uh, for the team, you know, what coach would you like to play for other than your coach? Uh, what are the dirtiest players or whatever? And, you know, Sue's name came up, and I didn't, I didn't vote for Sue. I just said, you know, I think he's interpreted, and this was before the kick the face, or the kick wherever he kicked it. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think he's interpreted as being dirty, but in my opinion, he's doing what he's coached to do, and I think that's what they – encourage on that team is for because you know playing that team they're a scrappy team they're a tough team and i mean yeah, i think the seattle seahawks may be in the same kind I was of boat say, you know i was gonna say maybe to you might have voted for <laughs> russell okun in that <laughs> yeah. poll if you, they'd or asked maybe, you at last or robert week. gallery you robert know? gallery yeah. there's another one you yeah. know but uh i mean that's why I, at the time i was like well, i don't know if you could fault him but then you have this incident come up to where he blatantly kicks a guy out of pure Bad. frustration purely losing his temper and, I mean, and he doesn't own up to it, you know, and I think that's just – it just looks bad for him. And I, and I think we – if it hasn't been announced already, he's going to lose, obviously, games. You well, know, I think I th they expect him to be suspended for two games. Do you think that punishment is just? Do you think that the punishment fits the crime there? Should he be suspended well, for two games? you know, I, I think he should be suspended for sure. If not, then the league has no teeth, but they've proven to have teeth, I mean, in terms of financially getting guys – and I, I know back in the day with Hainsworth, where he actually kicked a dude in the face, right. drew blood, mm -hmm. stitches the whole nine. I think it was a five-game suspension. It was five. And th that, this wasn't as uh, – I, I, the results weren't as graphic, right. we would say, you know, resulting in a hospital visit. But in terms of the intent, it was the same intent, just happened to hit a guy in a meaty part where it's not going to see a lot of blood. And so, you know, I think the two games is, is right on. But, I mean, at the same time, I think, you know, Sue, it's not going to change his style. I, you just hope – that it sort of 
keeps him in control and a little more aware of his Just surroundings. play within the lines. That's yeah. exactly right. Because I, I really like the lines. Last year, mm. I remember playing Chicago one week, and then we backed up, and we played the lines, and we beat the lines. And the week before, we actually lost to Chicago. But we came out of that game against the Lions saying, wow, that team is good. They're yeah. actually better than the Bears. Mm. You know, and, and I think their problem is that if you looked at that game, the difference between the Packers and the Lions was the Packers did not beat themselves. The Lions beat themselves. They imploded. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's numerous, you know, examples of that. I mean, one example that shot out at me in a very emotional game as that game was is the quarterback, Sa Safford, right? What's his name? Stafford. 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 That's right. Stafford was scrambling, ran out of the middle of the field, and he goes to slide, and about three of the Green Bay uh, defenders were converging on him. And instead of, you know, trying to stick one in on him, spear him as he's going down because he's giving himself up, they immediately stop in their tracks and let off. No, no, no harm, no foul. And they understand. They're like, look, man, we're not going to give this guy an extra 15 yards. Right. You know, would the Detroit Lions have done that? Would they have been that composed? I don't think so, obviously, based off of, you know, things that occurred during that game. And so it's interesting. That's one of the main things, you know, of being a good team in this league and winning is you got to be able to not beat yourself. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know what I mean? And I think that's a step that obviously a lot of the teams were one of them. They're trying mm -hmm. to sort of. You know, that direction we're trying to move in. <laughs> yeah. Let's not beat ourselves, right, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, because that's, that's the first step of really putting yourself in position to, to be consistently successful. We're talking about beating yourself. Stevie Johnson, the wide receiver from Buffalo, was uh, flagged for uh, wow. excessive touchdown celebration. He kind of had a choreographed routine poking fun of Plaxico Burris oh. when he shot himself in the thigh and eventually went to jail. So oh. he got 15 yards. The, oh. uh, the kick came from the 20. It was a uh, botched kick. The Jets got the ball at the, about the 36-yard line, went in for a touchdown, and Stevie Johnson's taking a lot of heat around the league. Give me your perspective as a teammate. How upset would you be at a guy that got 15 yards because he went to the length to – he went to the trouble to choreograph a touchdown celebration? In mockery of something that was very unfortunate, and I know if – you know, I don't know Pascal Burris really – I mean, I don't know him personally, but right. just reading about how remorseful he was mm -hmm. that that incident took place – you know, his time in prison, away from his family. I think he had a child born while he was in prison. I mean, there's a lot of information. I mean, that's a sensitive deal for him. Right. And to go there, come on, bro. Chill out. I mean, there's yeah. got to be limits, and there's got to be a certain level of sensitivity towards your fellow football player. Right. You know, there's got to be a level of respect to the guy. You know, you know and to Plaxico's credit, he, he took he, the high road. And when did. asked about he it, did. Nick, you, you probably heard it too. He said, yeah. I have no problem with it. You know, I've, I've heard worse. I'm sure yeah. he heard a lot worse oh. in prison. Yeah, he Come on. He, I mean, he, he heard like everything. He did. He took it like a pro. You know, that happens. And, um, you know, he, he took it like a pro for What sure. did you do? Uh, you know what? I was so busy making the call, I didn't exactly zoom in on what you were doing in the end zone. Oh, I just uh, I did a little What'd bow. You, do? you know, that's all. That's you did all a little I did. bow. Nice and simple. He didn't shoot himself. Yeah, I didn't shoot myself. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend to shoot myself <laughs> to mock you, Plaxico. <laughs> you didn't reenact a crime. And no, you didn't do that. <laughs> no, I don't have uh, the money for the for the fines like that. You no. Know? So I mean, I, come I just on, kept it dude. And what about the decency of humanity? In, to in just a, respect a guy in a, in, a, in a low time of his life. You know what I mean? Like. It, Sports is big. Obviously, it's a big. This is a big sports town and everything. But it's mm -hmm. not life, guys. Let's admit it. Right. It's yeah. not life it's or a death. Game. It's a game. You know, it's a game. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. But I mean, come on. When you start to cross boundaries and go to a personal area to where guys have, have gone through pain and suffering on a very personal level, where it deals with their family and it's embarrassed. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Just yeah. have some decency and respect your fellow player. You know. It the bad part about it is he dropped the pass later in the game, which would have you know clinched it. Uh, yeah. So that's, th that's just. I guess I, you could say karma. You know, I don't know if, if a lot of people believe in that, that. but uh, you know, when you your first touchdown in the game, it, it's I think it's fourteen to seven or seven to seven, and you're gonna do something like that. You know, you're gonna do a duel and you're winning by fifty, and you, the team has no chance of coming back. But right. it's just it, it's or bad. figure out, be cr more creative. <laughs> you know, let's be a little more creative. Think of something do that really is cool. Because I know Aaron Rodgers. If you guys have seen him, he does mm -hmm. this thing that looks like he's wearing the belt. The belt. You know, and it's funny because I'll see guys that will sack him. And, do it, and they'll yeah. get up and they'll do it in his face. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, that's the word. I mean, yeah. I mean <laughs> come on. If you went and won the Super Bowl and beat his team and gave right. him one of those right. and said we took it from right. you, that's an appropriate time to do that. But right. when you sack the guy and you give him a little extra oomph or in his the motivation final play factor, of the game and he has no chance to come back and throw a touchdown pass on you. Because it actually happened in the Detroit game. Oh, it did. Justin Durant goes and sacks the guy. No, gets up, gives him the good. belt, and they destroy him. I'm like, dude, that's just a – I'm embarrassed <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah. I, don't, I, I mean, where do you go from there? I mean, there's no recovery. You know, it's right. just, oh, come on, don't do that. Don't do it to a guy who's so on fire <laughs> that that's just going to, like, that's just going to feed his fire a little more to where he's going to, okay, I'm going to burn they, you. No, they, I'm going to burn they you cover more. that stuff at the rookie symposiums now in the National that's Football League? That's one topic they have not breached yet. You know they got to talk about Enzo. Yeah, let's let's – 
get the celebrations in control, guys. You're listening to the Brady Papinga Players Lounge on 101 ESPN and the Rams Radio Network. <laughs>